Welcome back to What Arty Nibs with General Disturbance. This is a Lorraine 155 Mini 51. It's a French Tier 8 SPG and it's located on the Westbourne of Sand River Encounter. And it's under the command of the Base Man from Hell. Yes, he's riding again and this time he's in Arty. Now, the Lorraine 155 it's got a 155mm gun and it was designed in 1951. Now it's actually built on the chassis of the Lorraine 40 ton and was proposed and they did actually build the RT and put it through trials and it passed. The only problem was that the uh, Lorraine 40 ton tank didn't pass trials and wasn't accepted and that means that this RT was also cancelled at the same time by the French military. So, if ever, ever anyone asks you why there's no Lorraine 155-51s in service, it was because the uh, they cancelled the Lorraine 40-ton tank. Now, we've got an enemy in sight. It's an AMX-1375, and the base man's looking at it now. Oh, the base man's been playing a lot of tank games recently. He fires around at the AMX and stuns him, but unfortunately it doesn't hit him. But that Wizzy 131 is giving the AMX a bit of a problem and we've got a TDP BTU nearby for protection. So, base man's relocating because that AMX is just way too close. Oh, but no need to worry, he has been killed. A 45 TP got him. Okay. So, he's gone back to his firing position. He did the prudent thing actually to pull away because if that uh, AMX had busted through the defences, he would have been the first target the moment he was spotted. Okay, we've got a Lurther hiding the other side of the rock. He's the only one that's actually in sight at the moment, but it's a very difficult shot. So he's trying to aim behind him, hoping that he's going to pull back. But another target's turned up. It's a T-10, Soviet Tier 9 Heavy, dialing in on the position. Only a few seconds to go. Should be ready now. Rounds out. Goes long. Oh, that's such a pity. Uh, baseman just adjusted his position. That's why the reticule bounced suddenly. Reload time 24.76 seconds. Well, it's nearest, damn it, 25 seconds totally. But this gun will do a fair amount of damage. It's 750 Alpha with the top gun. Rounds out. Gets a splash this time. 204 hit points. You can see on the... Uh, board that it's 750 alpha penetrating 45 millimeters of armor now he's stunned the t10 but that 45 tp is not stunned and he's moved a little further down which is causing our 45 tp to pull back a bit but we're only a second away from shooting rounds out good shot yes direct hit on the t10 but he goes around the corner and rams our 45 tp and an Oni has just turned up, so that 45 TP is not going to last very long. And it shows that the enemy does have a strong force around this corner. So it looks like Baseman is going to have to leave this area pretty pronto. He's almost ready to shoot. Going for the T10. Rounds out. And he gets a nice healthy amount of hit points off that one. But he does have to scoop now and get over to the other side. Move south as quickly as he can. He might be spotted. That 45 TP is getting close. We've got a Tiger 2 in the cap. He's, well, looks like a bot. Not doing anything at all. If he stays there, he's just going to become a willing victim. Now, hopefully, Baseman's going to go up over this rise, but nope. He's actually going to stay defending the cap. Okay, going to overhead view. In fact, he's got a lovely bunch of enemy tanks to shoot at. The T-10, the Conqueror, the uh, Oni, and a, well, he's getting some damage in. He's stunned the Oni and he's killed. So he's picked up one and a half thousand hit points of stun assist. And that's massively going to increase his XP at the end of this game. Pulling back a bit. Trying to use the, this dune as a bit of cover. He can shoot over the top of the dune. That's not a problem. Just needs not to be seen by the enemy tank. He's loaded. Dialing in on the 45 TP, rounds out. Oh, it lands short. It hits the top of that ridge line. Doesn't get near the 45 TP. And now we've got a whole bunch of tanks sitting near the wreck of the Oni. And I think Baseman's going to go after those because um, that 45 TP went 
way too deep in. And he's now dead. Going for the Conqueror. He's getting a request for fire. He's loaded. Now, rounds out straight away. Direct hit. 283. Stunned him for 15 seconds. Oh, he's taking fire. So, base man's picking up more and more XP all the time. And the Conqueror's killed. So, five kills apiece for the team. No kill yet for the base man. T29, top of the ridge line, above the riverbed. Diving in, rounds out. Direct hit, 130 hit points, nice shot. And he's picking up loads of stun assist here. Well, he's going to have an absolutely massive score from stun assist at the end of the game, I reckon. And the T29's gone down. Didn't get that last bit of stun assist because it had lost its stun by the time it was killed. But the baseman is now moving back to another firing position, back to the original one he chose. This is an LT-432 coming up from the south. And the only person defending the heights is the Object 704. And of course we've got a large contingent of uh, tanks moving across the north side of the map and baseman can find a nice position and support them, uh, knowing that his teammates have got some, uh, giving him some protection. From any enemy force. Just look at the wrecks here round the only wreck. Incredible. You would have thought that they would have ploughed on straight through to the cap but uh, nope they didn't and a lot of that does come down to the help of the baseman. Now he's got a good position here. He can fire to the south and he can fire on that lever. Now he's gonna fire what next? Well, that EBR is very low on hit points, but it looks to me like he's going to fire into the riverbed. There's an FP4202 down there. He thought for a second about the EBR, but just trying to make up his mind which target's the better one. Well, he can see the uh, Object 704 dialing in. Perfect. Round out. Oh, splashes for 22. The round actually goes into the rock face be beyond it. And he just got the he got the shockwave back off the rock. Twenty two hit points. Now the LT four three two killed our seven oh four up on the heights, unfortunately, and that means now he's in a commanding position over our cap. But he's not going to go there. And baseman fires around in. Oh, and stuns the LT four three two. But he's getting requests for fire on the 704 and the FD4202. Now he's reloading, so he's just going to relocate, find a new firing position, slightly better one, so he can get a better angle on that uh, those two enemy tanks. Pulling back a little. Okay, right, we've got the 704 in sight. We've got the FD4202 behind the rock. He can get the 704 nicely, and he's dialing in, almost ready. Rounds out. Direct hit. 213 hit points. It's now up to 1.2k of damage, 4.5k of stun assist. This is going to be a huge XP haul for this game. I cannot uh, stress how highly such an XP assist is going to really affect the game. And we've got no need. Now he's just near the riverbed, but we're dialing in. I think he wants this kill. Lining him up, working out where he's going, rounds out. Oh, no, it's too far ahead of the tank, I think. A little too far ahead. Now, he's selected a position behind this bush. And somebody is furiously pinging the map regarding in the, uh, one of our tanks who's just sitting in the past, not moving. Well, I think he's sitting in the past because there's an SU-130 to the south of him that's holding him there. But our T-34-2 GFT, oh, just got killed by the LT-432. Now he's torn. He doesn't know which way to go to help the uh, tank that's waiting in the pass. But that 432 is coming this way. We saw him going for the pass. He's trying to come north. That means the IS-2 is going to be meeting him very, very shortly. So he stopped to assist the IS-2. There he is. There's the 432. Now, can we stun him? If we can put a round into him, nearby him, this will make a difference. No, it goes long and to one side. Now, the, the annoying thing is the only is probably getting near our cap right now, and he might be able to assist that 432. There's the 704. Oh my god, he's coming up behind the IS-2. We're almost loaded. 
can we get a shot on that 704? Let's hope so. We're almost loaded. Now down. And it hits him, but it doesn't kill him. 160 hit points. Now he needs to use the speed of that Lorraine. Get out of here quick. There's only two left on his team. Unfortunately, there's an awful lot of enemy out there to kill. Seven of them. It's going to take some game to uh, win this one. It's still being done, though. It can still be done. Right, so TVP VTU. Now, what is wrong with him? Is he upturned? No, he's just... It looks to me like he's disconnected. His turret's not moving. No, I think he's disconnected from the game. And we'll find out very shortly. Oh, he is moving. No, he isn't disconnected. He suddenly realised, yep, okay, I have to play this game. And he's out the game. And now base man is all alone. He just took around from an FP4202 up on the ridge line. He's running down the riverbed as quickly as he can, but I seriously doubt that he's going to be able to survive this one now. It's rather a bit of an ask to kill eight or seven enemy tanks, brother. Oh! And he gets taken out by the FP4202, just the other side of the river bed, and the LT432 turns up. So, unfortunately, it's a defeat. But let's have a look at the end of battle stats. Well, it was a third class tanker for the baseman in the Lorraine 155 Mili 51. But he did get his second mark of excellence during that game and also a bruiser medal. The win eight for the game was 1,176. I'm afraid actually more to be precise, he was actually let down by his team because they just really didn't stay alive long enough for him to actually help them. Um, and well, they just let the enemy get into their... Uh, uh, gap area and uh, take out all their defenders one by one so not a great game but second moe anyway uh, if we look at the uh, team scores we can see that the high score came to the gw tiger p on the enemy team 3670 hit points to him the l3432 managed to get 3431 and he also picked up the patrol duty and the scout whilst uh, he the gw tiger p also got the goals medal in fact, actually, he's not showing the high caliber, so maybe he actually damaged one of his own teammates or it wasn't 25% of the hit pool total. But, yep, he's not showing a high caliber at all. Um, the um, base man managed to get 1450 hit points. He didn't get any kills, I'm afraid, which puts him way down the table. But because he got so much in the way of uh, stun assist, he actually got 653 base experience points, which actually puts him top of the table on XP earned during that battle on his team. Uh, but the high scores on uh, XP were actually the LT432 was spotting for his team most of the time. He got uh, 4,231 hit points of spotting assist. And um, then came their GW Tiger P with 981 because he managed to get some stun assist, 699 of it. So, let's have a look at detail. Well, base man fired 15 rounds in that game, got four direct hits, 12, um, and no penetrations, 12 splash. Damage of 1,450 hit points, all of it at more than 300 meters. He received two hits from the enemy, both of them were from that FB4202, and he also damaged five of the enemy, didn't get any kills, but he did do 4,533 hit points of stun assist off 12 stuns. On a premium count, he earned 53,030 credits, and after repair and ammunition resupply, he took away 26,162 credits, which is not bad. It's pretty good. But uh, he also earned 979 XP, and there was no multipliers, so that's all he took away. Uh, it's, um, yep, it's nice to get your second mark on an RT, because it proves that you have got the skill to use it and get the averages up. The Lorraine 15551 is one of those RTs that is played a lot, mostly because of its speed. As you can see, Baseman was moving it around the battlefield quite quickly. And uh, that's one of the good reasons why it's such a, a, a great tank, a great RT to get for front lines. So uh, you will probably see plenty of these running around front lines map uh, when you're playing that game. 
Uh, but, um, yeah, maybe next time Baseman will have a better team and he'll be able to get some epic medals and a win in, in instead. Um, but if not, then we might see him on the yeah, front lines map. So if you enjoyed that replay, please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel. And hopefully it'll be your replay that I'll be featuring in the next video.